Hi everyone, this is Rick with Tried and True on a very special unboxing video featuring the new Warlock led Mark IV Army Chimera Shadow Flame Shard. Special thanks to Privateer Press for sending us an early copy. We're super excited to check out these new models with y'all. Well, there's no more delays, let's get into this. Alright guys, so here we go. So we got the box here, War Machine Mark IV Shadow Flame Shard. So, I'm super excited about these guys. Um, I've been talking about them since they got revealed. Um, I'm all about, like, Mechano Dragons. I'm ready. So, we go ahead and just get everybody pulled out here. Um, we got Rassic, uh, first guy that gets pulled out. Um, go ahead and start dumping. Uh, here is the Vipix. Uh, fun little snake man, one of the heavies. Uh, he's the the lighter of the two, if I'm reading the rules right. Um, and then we go ahead and get uh, Mr. Hydrix out here too. Um, this is the model that I'm most excited about because uh, a uh, three-headed dragon is always super fun. So we go ahead and look at uh, Rasek here first. Um, his miniature is super detailed. Uh, I definitely try to uh, bend the sword a little bit just to test the integrity of the resin. Also, it's just because there's a little bit of a curve there. Um, but otherwise, like it's very, very strong resin. It feels very like I'm not just going to drop this on the floor and it's going to be ruined um, by any means. Um, so there's definitely a few um, like resin support pieces there. Uh, but it's it's nothing that's like not super easily cleaned up uh, so we go ahead here and pick up the hydrix uh, look at all the little test fit areas uh, I, I'm really enjoying the slot fitting um, compared to my storm legion uh, storm legion was just like a hole on the side of the arm side of the chassis you plugged in your magnets and you went from there. Um, they fit great, but there's something about this like slotting system that they have kind of going on in these models that I just really, really appreciate. Um, it just it feels super good. Uh, they slot in really well, um, and if I really wanted to, like I could just kind of let it sit there like that. Uh, especially if I want to try to get a game right out of the box, um, if I wanted to slot this stuff in here. So. I'm going through a slot test here as I'm kind of inspecting everything and looking at all the model uh, pieces. Um, all the back bits are really cool, a lot of fun. Um, and then we start going to like some of the heads for this guy because he's got a lot. Um, I'm pretty sure like this is like the corrosive one, um, and then we have uh, like the toothy maw here, um, really big, um, heavy hitting melee attack. Um, this one, uh, I believe is the, um, the horn piercer, uh, which is the, uh, the critical armor piercing, uh, blockhead here, uh, gives buckler, um, in con kind of conjunction with this, like, I'm really excited that Privateer Press, um, announced out that they were offering to sell the additional heads for the smalls on the sides because um, each of these um, Hydrix are going to have uh, I think one, two, three, four, five heads and you're allowed to duplicate the sides. So the box only comes with one of each of the heads but Privateer Press kind of jumped ahead of that and uh, made sure that we could have access to the pieces that we need for these um, models. So um, I go ahead and uh, pop this head in here, which is the Diviner head. So uh, uh, rules say it gives it a true sight and things like that. So it uh, helps a lot for uh, shooting and things like that. Um, this head was a little different um, than the color of the it, from the resin that it came with. Um, that to me, it's just you know, different mix, different. Um, batch of whatever when they were trying to print the stuff and it doesn't the the quality doesn't change at all so it it, it looked wonderful 
Um, moving over here to the Vipex. Vipex? Vi Vipex? Vipex. Um, the, uh, again, the detail on the miniature is wonderful. On the bottom of this guy, there was definitely some of those uh, where you could tell that the resin supports were at the bottom of the miniature. So uh, that'll take some shaving uh, to flatten out to get on the base and stuff like that. But again, nothing as far as like terrible quality for that because it's going to be at the bottom of the base. You're never going to see it. Um, so move over here to the impaler arms. I want to say they are. Yeah, the impalers. Uh, they look wonderful. Again, some support pieces are still attached, but that's nothing that your knife or just your fingers, um, if I'm being honest, uh, that can just get them off of there. Very easy to clean up. Um, the the resin quality throughout all of these miniatures were just wonderful. Um, I definitely had a moment where I was trying to fiddle with like where this for how the tail is on how to get this arm in it took me a minute to figure it out but i did but at the same time i noticed that i could like have one arm up and it's like it's going to slash at you so i was actually kind of able to get some dynamic posing still um which i truthfully really really uh enjoy and respect because even though it's like a slotted system i can still um have fun with my miniatures like they're jumping at you or you know it's coming in for an attack. Um, so, makes my miniatures look a little different than just kind of uh, maybe have potential standard posing throughout the, uh, the whole thing. So, um, cleavers, again, came out super clean. Um, I figured out much faster on how to get them slotted both down. Uh, I really enjoy the serpentine bodies of both of these beasts. Um, the quality of the, uh, the kind of like organic and mechanic armor of these guys is super cool um the tails wonderful pieces um they fit in wonderfully um one of the the only the tail this tail here um did have a little bit of a resin um bit that was stuck where like it would slot into the tail the actual like end of the tail of the body so um, I'm definitely gonna have to shave that off a little bit uh, to get that um, appropriately fitting um, the heads I I'm really enjoying like these um, upward horned heads uh, I just see it like this thing like charging at you at, like a snake and just Headbutting you and impaling you with a with a horn, it's great. Um, again, just some some little extra resin support pieces, but that just shows the quality of how well they're able to kind of get these guys printed. Nothing your knife's not going to be able to clean up, um, and everything just slots in great. Uh, I don't have any worries about like if I want to have these guys put together are they gonna fall down are they gonna bust and break are they gonna like everything feels great so i go ahead put together the vipix uh this is where i un actually find out that the uh the tail needs a little bit of cleaning um super easy to do uh, the resin is durable enough that if you got to get your knife into it a little bit that it's not going to damage everything else around it um, so we get a, a good tail put in uh, I put him on the base show him off uh, there he is uh, Rasik is uh, in position as well so we gotta obviously put together the, the Hydrix so that he can look cool too with the whole battle group uh, we'll place him in there there he is scoot stuff off there's our battle group so we have a uh, chimera and the uh the shadow flame shard all right guys that concludes this unboxing video thanks again to privateer press for giving us an early look at this brand new army chimera 
I personally cannot wait to get these guys painted all up and get them on the table for our Resurrection League starting up this fall. What do you guys think about all the new Shadow Flame Shard stuff? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.